everybody. Welcome to our second First Friday Facebook Live. My name is Teresa. I'm the owner of Trilada, and we're going to tell you what is coming up this month and next month. Okay, so um, we're planning to do these videos every month so that you know what's coming up. We'll try to keep this one shorter than last month's. Last month um, was more about the whole year and in introducing these videos, and so we'll hopefully keep this one a little bit shorter. So um, first thing I'm going to talk about is classes, and then we'll talk about what's coming up for the season and then some events and things we have coming up. So first, classes. We have really filled up our calendar. Um, we filled it up through March. And so if you go to our website, you'll see what's coming up for classes, clubs, block of the month type things, special events. And um, we are continuing to do all of our classes on Zoom. We plan to do that through at least the end of the year. It might just become a permanent thing that we offer classes on Zoom as well because we've been able to have all kinds of people join us from different states and from just further out in, in the Denver area where you know it's harder to drive here. So. Um, if you live in the mountains or, you know, somewhere that's a little far away or you don't like driving at night, joining us via Zoom is a great way to still um, take the classes and hang out with us. So, um, okay, so check the calendar, but I'll hit the highlights. Um, we're hoping to add next quarter's classes, so for April through June, um, by March, by early March. We're hoping to get those up on the schedule. And, okay, so... Um, I am going to also talk about Kimberbell again because we're having so much fun with Kimberbell. We are doing their monthly club fill in the blank. So a blank is just uh, um, like it's an already made item that you then embroider or otherwise embellish. So um, January's fill in the blank was this sparkle bag. And so um, a, a lot of their blanks every month are going to be limited edition colors. So this chambray blue is a limited edition color that you won't normally be able to get from them. So we have um, a number still available here. And when you buy the blank, you get the design for free. And those of you who don't have embroidery machines, don't worry. Uh, there's a sewing version as well. So when you um, buy the blank, you get the design for free. And both the sewing and the embroidery versions are, on, um, are in that file. So. Um, this is January. We've still got some of those. And February. These are so cute. This is also a limited edition color. Um, these ombre tea towels. So they go from, you know, white basically to really intense color. Um, so those are pretty fun. Some fun colors there. And I have my sample here. We, uh, we, we put together our own kits for these too. So um, like we have this kit available with the colors we've selected for this. So you can still get that kit. And here is February's kit. Life is short, eat the cake. So this is what the towel looks like. It's a, just a nice a nice ombre. So really fun. Um, and with the green one that we have left from our pack of two, I would love to do like a key lime pie. <laughs> I think that would be really cute. So we'll see if I end up doing that. Um, and then for, oh, let's see. Got to pull these out for um, March. We already know what March's is going to look like. So our fabric kit might not look exactly like this, but this is what's coming out for March. Bunny trails. Um, this particular blank is normally available. The plain canvas one is normally available. So March, they didn't do a limited edition colorway. Um, but we also know what's coming up. For April, May, and June, and uh, we don't know what they look like yet, but they are all limited edition colors. Um, so April is going to have an amethyst velveteen zipper pouch blank. Um, May will have a light gray linen quilted pillow cover blank, and in June we'll have um, gray and white limited edition pet kerchiefs. So that's going to be pretty cool. So that's what's coming up in that club. And, um, and oh, and so those of you who joined the club to do this, we're not really doing a class for it, but we do have our machine embroidery open sew that's on the fourth Tuesday of every month. And so that is going to be where we will kind of talk about, you know, this month's, whoops, this month's project. We'll, we'll talk about it and people will be working on it during the open sew, but you can join us with any machine embroidery project during those open sews. And we have a giveaway. 
So I'll give you guys a chance to um, make a comment, but tell us something that you are intrigued about with Kimberbell, something you really like ab about Kimberbell. Put that in the comments, please, and mention the Kimberbell, mention Kimberbell. And then we'll put you in the drawing for the blank, this month's blank. So um, when you get this month's blank, you will also get the design, that sparkle like you mean it design. So um, whoever wins this gets this and the free designs. All right, so enter, enter, and then we will draw for who the winner is. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Okay, so we, um, Kimber Bell is putting out three brand new events this year, and we are going to do all of them. So the first one, we've already um, got that scheduled. It's actually coming up at the end of this month, February 28th. And um, I have a couple of the projects here. Oh, here we go. Okay. So um, the first one, or one of the projects is this little um, plant, I forget what they call it. It goes under your plants. <laughs> it's like a little, um, and it's so cute. It says, I'm so excited. I wet my plants. <laughs> so, um, oh, so the, oh, the theme, the name of the event is Garden Guild. So the theme is gardening. So there's some really cute um, projects in here. I was going to show you how to do the pole flowers so that you would apply to this, but I don't have them here today. So um, we make this little, um, again, what do you call this? It's a little banner. It's a little hanging quilt. Um, I can't. So we were available on tea towels? On these yes. tea towels? Yes. 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 Yep. Thank oh, you. yeah. So that is another thing um, that I wanted to say is that all of, or maybe I did, I don't remember now, but for every month, there is a sewing version and a machine embroidery version. So you don't need a mach an, an, um, an embroidery machine to participate. You can do it in the sewing version. Thank you. Um, okay, so this is one of the items that you make, and then you there are these pull flowers that you then Put on here and I printed out something so I can show you what that looks like and there so there are these pull flowers and they're so easy to use you basically just there's a string in there and you pull and it makes a flower so it's really fun to make and then um, this is the little velveteen zipper pouch darling you look radishing and these actually have some puffy stuff in there so they have a little dimension to them so this is what a blank looks like from Kimberbell. It comes, it's already got the zipper in there. Um, that's already installed. And then you've got a lining fabric and your outside velveteen fabric, or some of them are felt. Um, there are three colors in velveteen, three colors in felt. And in, um, what was that, in April, there will be an amethyst color as a special edition. So then we just sew this up and we're done with it and you have a zipper pouch. So those are pretty cool. Um, how many colors? Oh, just the two. It's a pack of two. So it comes with one pink and one green. But, but um, we also have the polka dots, the regular dots. Oh, okay. But Kimberbell has other colors that are normal colors. And um, it comes in a set of two. We have, uh, well, there, there are plain white ones, which I think is a set of three. But then there are um, sets that come with a striped towel and a polka dot towel. There's gray. Um, Light blue, I think. Shelly's looking for some right now. Red, red, red turquoise. Red. And yeah, yellow. so they're yellow. They're a bunch of different colors, and they come in a set of two, one striped, one polka dot. Okay. Do we have a winner for the drawing yet? Um, okay, so we the first event that they came out with is this Garden Guild, and that we're just, we just got our kits not too long ago, and we're just now able to do the event. Actually, I think we're not supposed to until February 19th or something. So anyway, 28th is when we are doing that event. And then there are two more coming out this year. Um, one of them is called Summer Nights. It's a one-day event. And there's a two-day event, Halloween, Home Sweet Haunted Home. That's a two-day event, and that's coming um, We can after July 30th. So starting in August, we can hold that one. And the Summer Nights one, we can start in mid-May. Um, so we'll get those on the schedule and tell you about those um, in the future. Ready. And the winner? Ready. Is the winner? Yep. All right. So the winner of the blank is Betty. Congratulations. We'll have this on hold for you here. Oh, sorry, Shelly. Okay. 
All right. Um, okay, so you guys know about our open sewing nights. We have just plain open sewing where you can do anything you want. We have the machine embroidery that I just talked to you about. We have um, collage, quilting, open sewing. We have bag making, like finish your bags. Um, so bag making, open sewing nights. Um, it's $15 to hold your spot, and then you get that back. When we do them in person, the idea is you um, $15 holds your spot, and then you get that back to buy things that night. When we're doing them over Zoom, we know it's a little harder, so you know within the week or something, come and get your credit toward product. That's really just to hold your spot. Um, we have the two bag clubs. We've already talked about those. Um, in the Explorer Club, we have the um, Traverse bag coming up in March. And in the By Annie Club, we have um, this month still, because it's the third Tuesday, I want to say. Um, we have the Diddy Bag class coming up this month. And March's class is the Double Zip Gear Bag. So we've got some samples here that you can come take a look at, see if it's a bag you want to make. That's what's coming up in the clubs. Um, we already talked about the Kimberbell Fill in the Blank. That's a club you can join. And our Alabama Channon Club is free. So you just sign up online to come to that. Um, or if you're in our Facebook group already, then um, the, we already have the Zoom link set up there. So you can just join us over Zoom for that. So right now that's still just uh, over Zoom. And then we have um, some block of the month type things. Um, we have already started this quilt along, the Dear Jen um, quilt along. But all we've talked about so far is you know selecting fabrics and some techniques and things. You can really join us at any time on this. Um, and your sign up fee includes the pattern book. Um, and Katie's been working on some blocks already, so she left these with us so we could show you some of her blocks. Um, they're just really cute little blocks, and as you can tell, the quilt has just an explosion of fun, fun blocks, fun color. You can really do any kind of layout for this, but that's just, it's just such a cute, cute, cute quilt. So here are some more blocks that she's finished already. So join us for that. And um, my favorite color is Moda. We're still waiting for one bolt. Um, the fabrics have been back ordered, as you probably know. So many things this year have been delayed. Um, shipping is just slow, and manufacturing is slow. So we have one bolt we're still waiting for on one of the colorways. Um, but otherwise, we're planning to announce this and have it up ready on the website by the 16th, which I believe is next Tuesday, um, a week from Tuesday. So these will be available very soon. So we're, we, we're doing three colorways. We're doing the ah, Primrose Garden colorway. We're doing the <laughs> Pink Lemonade colorway and the Cookie Tin uh, colorway. This is not like a mirror. It's all backwards. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay. And then we have some other stuff coming up. The Graphic Jam, I think, comes out in April if it hasn't been delayed. Um, and then we had talked about doing a thread of the month club and we're still planning to do it, but we had so much starting in January, we're putting it off till next quarter. So probably April is when we'll start that. And we are also, um, bringing in glide thread. Uh, we have the, the color card coming. It's supposed to arrive on Monday. We're going to pick the colors we want to carry in here and we will have glide thread, which is great for long arm quilting. I think it would be great for quilting on your domestic machine. Um, but we've really been using it for, um, Embroidery. We, it's worked out really well doing the embroidery. So we love it. Good threads. Thank you. Okay, so um, the special event that we have this quarter is our virtual retreat. So you'll be zooming from home, maybe in your pajamas, and um, we will be working on this pattern, kidding around goats in pajamas. It is so cute. I'm going to swing the camera around. Don't get too dizzy here. Um, but we have a block that Sydney made as a little sample on her wall. Um, there it is. <laughs> it is so cute. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. It'll be two days at home joining us on Zoom while we work on this. We'll have some fun little treats we'll send your way. And it's just going to be a fun little, fun little weekend thing that um, in the way that we can do it right now, which is not in person. So, um, hey, let's give away a pattern. <laughs> Anybody who thinks this is just the cutest thing, tell us something in the comments about the retreat or the goats and um, what kind of fabrics you'd want to do their pajamas in maybe. 
So um, make do some commenting there, and we will draw for the winner of the pattern. Sydney's laughing. You guys, guys must be making fun comments over there. <laughs> I can't really see the comments when I'm talking here. All right, so um, I think I mentioned that right now we're still doing classes in Zoom, but we're starting to add some in-person um, people. <laughs> that didn't make sense. But um, we're starting to let some people come in and do it in person. We are still limiting the number to probably four, four students, because that lets us still socially distance with our masks on. Um, so the sooner you sign up, the higher you are up on the list. And then um, as we get closer to the class, we'll probably check in with you and see. We'll go work our way down the list and see who wants to do the in-person class. If you know you really want to, maybe put that in the notes when you sign up in your order. Um, let us know that you would like to do it in person if possible. Um, but we'll, we'll work our way through the list of people who've signed up. Um, you know, we've got embellishing classes, quilting skill of the month. Last month we did precision cutting, cutting with precision, something like that. And I think our next one is more about precision with seaming, um, accurate seams. And let's see, um, we do have the Get to Know Your Bernina classes on the schedule. This month we did Get to Know Your Bernina, just your sewing machine. Next month we're doing um, get to know your embroidery module. So if you have purchased your machines or your embroidery modules or whatever from us, then you get to take the class for free. So just let us know. Just give us a call and we will sign you up for that. And we have um, Lisa coming in. She's going to be teaching garment sewing. She's going to be teaching us how to make patterns fit our bodies. So I'm really excited about that. The first one is going to be making pajamas. Um, while learning about making patterns fit us and learning about garment <clears throat> construction. So that's going to be really fun. And then the next class after that is going to be about um, tops and fitting tops. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, we have another class that's actually coming up this following Saturday, so a little over a week from now. And um, Katie's going to be teaching that one. Um, and here's Sydney's sample that she made right here of ghastly work of art. So it's going to be about embellishing and um, just making some fun little pieces of art. And um, it's the day before Valentine's Day. Perfect time for a love-themed little wall hanging. Um, here is another example of some work that Katie did. Uh, it's kind of reflective. <laughs> you probably can't see it very well. You can see my helpers in the back there. Um, this is beaded. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's beaded and... Um, did she do stitching? Mostly just the, the beading on this one. Yeah, so that is that for our exceptional embellishing class? Is. Is that, okay, so um, this is the kind of thing you'll be doing in the embellishing series. Um, it might be beading, it might be um, using interesting threads, um, but it's going to be all about different ways, um, different types of embellishing for your projects. And Sydney's teaching a color theory class. I'm hoping there's room for me in there. And um, we have the kits put together. So this is the kit that you're going to get. There's paint in there. There's fabric. There's a paintbrush. There are some um, colored pencils, some watercolor paper. I don't even know what's in here. Um, and then there's a, a hoop. And we have that on the wall here, too. Sorry about all this spinning, guys. But there we go. There's the project for the, the color class. And um, that's just one of the projects we'll be working on in there. Um, all right, so. Is that a goat winner? Yeah, goat winner. Tell Paula. me. Paula. Paula Paula, Paula Vanderbilt, congratulations. You win the goat pattern. Okay, and then, um, oh, the jelly roll rug. Thank you. So we've got um, all the stuff for the jelly roll rug. This pattern's in here backwards. <laughs> here we go. Um, the jelly roll rug. These are still all over social media because they're so fun to make and they're so cute. And, you know, you can, we've got, we've got all kinds of great jelly rolls here. We've got this new one by Tilda, and we are quickly selling out of these pre-cuts that we ordered. <laughs> um, but, cute little one by Tilda. Here's one by Allison Gretglass in the Sunprint collection. Um, you know, you can do all kinds of fun things with the rugs. I made mine out of, um, uh, what's, what's it, uh, by Debbie Nuno. Um, Anyway, I did, it was like all blue, so kind of neutral. So I made mine pretty neutral, but I've seen a lot that are rainbowy and just, you know, fun colors. So they're really fun. I need to make another one. My son um, took mine over. It's, it's now his. <laughs> and we have the batting on a roll. So when I made mine, I cut batting into strips and sewed it together <laughs> and, and all that. But now we make these great rolls. So you can just 
um, just go. You don't need to cut your own batting. So we've got those here. We have these great, um, the Jelly Roll Rug Tube Makers. It's kind of like a large bias tape maker. These are great. Um, so let's give one of these away. Awesome. Yeah. Who wants to take a Jelly Roll Rug class? Who wants a, a Jelly Roll Tube Maker? Let us know. We'll draw your name. Okay. Um, okay, sewing machines. Oh, the new sergers are here. The Bernina air threading sergers are so cool. I have been using mine. I fell in love with it from the moment I turned it on. Um, it's so amazing. <laughs> the threading is fun. <laughs> you could do it just for fun. Um, and there is this great feature on there that is called, hmm, <laughs> should have looked that up. Um, but it basically tells you how to do everything you need to do. So if you need to change the cover stitch, it tells you, it walks you through how to do that. Um, it's like something mode, <laughs> something Smart mode. mode. <laughs> it's like beginner mode. It's, it, it walks you through, it walks you through the steps. And depending on what kind of seam you want to have, it, it tells you, you know, which ones, where to put the thread, how many thread, you know, it, just, it tells you exactly how to do it. So um, it's, it's pretty cool. And we had some people here doing the uniform tunic class. They got to try it and they were like, what else can I serge? This is so cool. So they're, they're really fun. So come in, we've got it here. You can come in and take a look at it, try it out. Really cool sergers. Um, and like I mentioned before, we have classes on the schedule. When you buy a machine from us, then you get to take the class for free. Um, oh, there's a deal going on right now through the 9th of this month. So um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, that's through February 9th, 2021. And um, if you buy a 570 or a 770 sewing machine, you get to pick a free serger or a free embroidery module, which is crazy. So um, there aren't any in stock right now, as you know, with you know appliances and everything right now, manufacturing has been slowed down. So we are waiting, we're waiting to get more in. Um, but if you reserve, put down a deposit, you can reserve your 570 or your 770, and then you just tell us what you want, if you want the serger or the embroidery module. So pretty cool, pretty cool deal. Um, and for those of you who don't know, we do service Berninas and Burnettes. You can just bring them on in here, drop them off, and we'll um, get that taken care of for you. Okay, we mentioned this last time as well. Um, Tula Pink has partnered with Tudo to design some sewing machine luggage. So um, for those of you who have the Tula machines, I mean, you kind of need one of these, right? Um, so if you have the 770 Tula, you need the extra large. If you have the 570 Tula, you need the large. But of course, these would look lovely on any sewing machine. So um, we have pre-ordered these. They're hoping that they're going to be in in about a month. Um, they're hoping sooner, actually, but they said four weeks. Give us four weeks from now. So um, hopefully we'll see these soon. Get your name on a list, um, and we will reserve one for you. I think we only ordered four of both of each size, and I know some of them are already reserved. So um, we can still order more, but if you want it in the want one from the first batch, let us know soon, please. Okay. Jelly roll rug. Oh, jelly roll rug, the tool, the tube maker. Michelle Bisping. Michelle Bisping, congratulations. We'll have this here waiting for you. All right. So, oh, and February. February has some good things in it. It's um, Black History Month. And um, we, oh, here, Shelly has some awesome fabrics. So we're seeing more and more fabrics that have a little bit of um, diversity to them. So we're really excited about that. And we've been, we've been ordering a bunch. Is that heavy? <laughs> <laughs> I know, no. <laughs> she's trying to hold it away from her body and that's a lot of bolts. Um, so we, we're really excited about the fabrics we're seeing um, with showing a little bit of diversity. And we've ordered some now that we haven't received yet either. So we'll keep getting some more of those in. We're excited about that. And then you guys might know um, Sydney's wall hanging quilt that she designed, Black Lives Matter. We're donating all proceeds from the pattern to Black Lives Matter. Um, and so we have re-kitted it. So that is available. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm just... Yeah, very cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to show behind you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Got some go. cool fabrics. Cool fabrics. Yes, there you go. And let's see. Um, oh, so February is also when we would find Valentine's Day. <laughs> come in, come in with some more fabrics. So we've got lots of fun Valentiney fabrics here for you. Um, and she's bringing more. Um, 
yay. These just came in today. Yeah, cute. And then we've got some uh, layer cakes that are very Valentine-y um, and some bundles and some kits. So I'm sure she'll be walking those over here any second now. Um, oh, yeah, here. Oh, my goodness. Lots of cute stuff. Oh, I love this line by Brigitte Heitland, Zen Chic. Um, we've got some of these guys kitted. Um, she, I love this collection. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's a little uh, Fat Ape bundle with the colors in it. This one is amazing. This is um, paper pieced. It's really cute. Um, oh, this is a collection that has not been around for a while. It's one of those things that we've hidden for years now. Can't find it anywhere else. It's by Heather Bailey. It's called Hello Love. And we do still have a few bolts of this um, hidden away in storage. I better get what I want before people start ordering that, huh? <laughs> it's a cute collection. It has octopuses on it. Oh, and then by Kimberbell, we have the Love Notes um, quilt. That was originally put out in August as a um, block of the week quilt. Oh, and we put together our own fabric kit to go along with it as well, of course. As we have we have the Kimberbell kit, so if you're a fan of the Kimberbell fabrics, we've got what you need right here with their fabrics. Um, and then, of course, we always like to do our own thing as well. So, as I said, now we, we also have the Trilotta version for that quilt. Um, and we put together some cute pillowcase kits. Um, as you probably know, we put out our first pattern, um, oh, no, our second pattern. We had, we had Sydney's Black Lives Matter pattern, too. Um, so we have our perfect pillowcase pattern. So that is a free um, PDF download on our website. Um, and we also have it in person here. Thanks, Shelly. Um, you can buy it printed. And it's five dollars. No price. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars to buy the printed version, um, and it's got all kinds of really good information on making different sizes, and if you're using directional fabric and all that. So, we um, put together two Valentiney kits. Um, cute, cute fabrics. So, you could have, you could pick these up tomorrow, get them sewn, washed, and on your bed by t by Sunday, which is a week before Valentine's Day, and then you have a whole week to enjoy heart pillowcases before Valentine's Day. All right, oh, more heart stuff. We've got some cool patterns with hearts. Who doesn't love a heart pattern? Baby love. Cute. Okay, I want to know what, how you came up with your store name. The store name? I don't know. It was, I was working on names and my son was there and I think he put some sounds together, either that or it just popped into my head. But as soon as I heard it, I knew it was, it was the name. It had to be the name. So I wish I had a better story, but it was, there was a lot of thinking and back and forth and ended up with that one. So thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of Valentine stuff here. Oh, this is the cutest collection. Lots of Valentine hearts. And this is we the one with, one of those. we only have one of these. Ah. Yeah. There are typewriters in here with writing love notes. It's super cute. Um, and then there's Just Red again from Brigitte. And, ooh, I love this collection. This might not be Valentine-y, but the colors, I think, make it so that it could be Valentine-y. Yeah, really cute collection. Okay. Oh, ribbons. Ribbons, velvet ribbons, sparkly pink webbing, all kinds of awesome stuff. Um, alrighty. Um, I think that was it from... From there, all right? We got all the Valentine stuff. Okay. Oh, and then um, we got some new fabric from a local designer. Her name is Noga. She's with Kaleidoscope Studio. That's her her business. Um, she has designed and printed her own fabrics on sustainable ten cell fabric. So nice and drapey. It's um it's like a rayon. It's a cellulose fiber. It um, uses less water and is less chemically intense than than producing cotton fabrics. Um, it's a renewable resource. FSC certified trees are used in uh, making this, this fiber. And she made a dress and brought it in for us so we could show you guys um, what the fabrics look like sewn up. So there's some information about her stuff, but they're just super nice and drapey and fun colors and designs. And this is the Cielo dress by um, Closet Case Patterns. 
and so we'll have this pattern here too. She just color blocked it. I don't think that's in the pattern, but um, yeah, super cute. So that was really nice of her to bring that for us to show off her fabrics. Um, and ooh, and then, so our friend Natalie over at So Hungry Hippie, she has given us a coupon code for her brand new um, PDF pattern. It's called the LP Record Bag, and it is so fun. She's on my way. Oh, hi, Natalie. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, so she has um, given us a coupon code for you guys to get 25% off on this, and it is Trilata, our name. So go to her website and get 25% off this brand new pattern. She's the cutest <laughs> and so sweet. All right. I think, did we cover everything? We did. Oh, I feel like we missed something in there somewhere. Hmm. Oh. oh, probably when I was talking Doing about the, the yeah. Okay. All right. So we were talking about the Tula, the Tula Tudo sewing machine um, luggage. And we would like to do a giveaway for that as well. Some of her brand new Tula line work fabric in the pandas. Pandemonium is the name of this fabric. So we have two, two fat quarters to give away. Um, so tell me how much you love Tula. I mean, that's not going to be a hard one. Tell me how much you love Tula. And we have, we get to pull two names for that. So um, I think that's it for me. Um, that's all I have to tell you today. Um, any any questions online that we should be answering? Um, let's see. Do we sell a lot of Tula fabric? Do you want to talk about Curiouser? Yes, we have Curiouser and Curiouser coming. That's Tula's um, brand new line that's coming out in is it April? I think April. So we have that coming. If you would like to get on the list for when that comes in, please let us know. Um, we had a big list for Tula's line work line, and so we were called, one day, that's all I did. I just <laughs> called all the people on the list and took everybody's orders. Um, so if you would like to get on that list so you know you're not going to miss out on our, our shipment that comes in, um, please let us know. Um, I, could, I would say you could email us. Make sure you get a response, though, so you know that you got on the list, or give us a call, or um, that, that would be the best way, probably, is give us a call or email us and we'll get you on the list for Curiouser and Curiouser and if you haven't seen what it looks like yet go look it up it's adorable it's um, Alice in Wonderland themed and you've got you've got the mean um, queen and you've got the you know the nice Alice and queen pardon me queen the queen of hearts yeah so um, it's it's fun it's it's fun colors and the blenders are cute too and it's it's adorable Um, Ruth, I will look into any deals on the embroidery module. Um, give us a call. Give us a call and we'll, we'll make sure we look into that. Mary Anna wins all. Is, yeah. is the winner? Oh, okay. What, won one of them? Mm -hmm. Mary... Mariana Gold Powell. Mariana Gold Powell? Mm -hmm. Mariana. Okay, so Mariana, you won one of the fat quarters. We will have this here. Um, on hold for you in the drawer. So come on in and get it. Congratulations. And then Lisa Marie Madrigal. Oh, Lisa. Lisa Madrigal won the other one. Congratulations. We'll have that here for you. Okay. Any other questions I'm missing? Um, let's see here. Sorry. Um, what's the name of... Oops, sorry. Hang on just a second. Um, okay. <laughs> Can we pre-order her new solids? Um, Tula's new solids? Yes. So we have some of Tula's solids here, but the, are you talking about the new ones coming out? The uh, unicorn poop and the dragon's breath colorways? Uh, we just saw our rep last week, I think, and ordered. We have so many solids here right now. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the questions that are popping up over here. Sorry. Um, we, we did not order the solids in yardage because we have so many solids right now. We just got in Tula's other solids and some of her stripes and pom-poms and um, we got more line work in as well. So, and we just got some of uh, the Heather Ross um, solids. So we have a lot of solids, but we did order pre-cuts. 
So we didn't order yardage in the new Tula that are coming out in, I don't know what month, um, but we did order some pre-cuts. So um, we can get you on the list for the pre-cuts if you'd like. Um, do you remember off the top of your head how much time the jelly roll takes? The jelly roll, um, no. And there is homework to do before class. And um, I don't remember how long it took me to make the rug. And you actually get to decide how big it is. If you use the whole um, jelly roll, which is what I did on mine, you get a pretty good sized um, oval, which I think mine's like two, two feet by three feet, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I don't remember how long it takes. I would have to, it's been a while since I made mine, so I don't remember. I think the class is four hours, but you come with your rope already made, and then we start working on the, um, the actual rug in class. I think in the four hours, you make a pretty good dent in it. We should probably uh, get them signed up quickly. The For the, the oh yeah, yeah. So any of the classes, the sooner you sign up, the better, because if there is homework, that gives you some more time to come in, get your supplies, and get the homework done. <laughs> so if you're thinking about a class and you're planning on taking it, the sooner you sign up, the better, and the farther up you are in the list um, for getting the call about coming in person if you want to. Uh, Natalie wants to know, do we make packs of Anna, Annabelle Wrigley solids? Is that the, the Wyndham ones? Uh, I think that's the Wyndham ones. And we don't have any packs, but for you, we'd make some. We'd make some packs, sure. <laughs> um, Do you need to make an eight, an eighth inch foot? Does Bernina make an eighth inch foot? Well, the, the quarter inch foot has eighth inch markings on it as well. So I don't know of any special foot that's only for eighth inch, but the quarter inch foot works as an eighth inch foot too. Um, Deb wants to know what day the color wheel class is on. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. It's, it's a three part class. There's my phone. It's buried under all the samples and stuff that I threw on it. Um, I will look that up in my calendar right now. Let's see, color. Um, What's the name of the new local fabric company? Oh, um, Kaleidoscope Studio. Um, Heather. Yes. It's it? on. It's in my notes there. Um, it's the last page. Um, Kaleidoscope Studio. Kaleidoscope Studio. Okay, so the color theory class it starts on Thursday, February 11th. It's from five to eight, and it repeats twice. Um, so it's February 11th, 18th, and 25th. It's going to be fun. Sydney knows her stuff. Um, Betty wants to know if there's room for sewing with my nomies tomorrow and if we have availability in person. Um, we're not doing it in person because we're doing it on Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. Um, and um, it just gets too busy in here on Saturday. So I'm actually going to be doing it from home. I'm going to be Zooming with everybody from home. Um, there might be a way for you to come in and get the kit and all the stuff for it and then um, just join us a little bit late because it, it's two whole days. So if you come tomorrow morning to pick up your kit from us, you could join us for the, the, the last half of tomorrow and then all of Sunday. Um, but if you wanted to do that, you should let us know tonight so that we can have it ready and waiting for you. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, what's the name of the new surgeon? Oh, the name of your new surgeon. Oh, I don't have a name, guys. Oh. I think the number on it is L890. So if that helps with any names, please um, make suggestions. Lula. 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 Lola. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, I think that might be. Hi, Mom! <laughs> she says, I really love meeting her in Denver with you. That was She She flew to Denver and did the retreat with Tula a year ago, September. She did that with me, so that was really fun. Can you um, remind people about the So Hungry Hippie deal? Yes, yes. So if you've never made one of her bags, you should. We've got a bunch of patterns here, um, and we've made a few of them. Um, Sydney's made... We made more than what the one. I don't know, but I they're, made a lot of yeah, they're really well written and awesome patterns, and you should you should make them. Um, okay, so the LP record bag, her brand new pattern, and it's twenty five percent off the pattern, and the coupon code is Trilada. 
and you can get get to it from the link on our website. Oh, and there's a link on our website. So the, the banners that come up on our website when you first go to the homepage, um, one of them is all about this, and you can just click any, anywhere on the banner or mm -hmm. or on the text maybe, like anywhere on the text. Somewhere. Yes. Somewhere. Click somewhere on there, and it'll take you. But there's a direct link from there to her website with the discount already applied, right? Yes, and yes. limited time only. Limited time yes. only. It's through the 10th of this month, February 10th, 2021. Mm -hmm. She also does killer vinyls and... Yeah, oh, and we, yes. She has amazing products as oh, well. I grab a couple? And we've got, yeah, we've got a bunch in here. Grab my project bags with the vinyl, the sparkly vinyl. <laughs> and we've got all kinds of vinyl from her. We've got um, bag straps. We have patterns. Oh, we, sorry, go ahead. Um, oh, okay. Keep going. Thank you. I made a, a set of project bags um, using her vinyl. So you can see it's pink and it's got glitter and it's amazing, amazing stuff. Um, I made all sizes, but the large is at home with a project in it. I gotta use my stuff sometimes, right? The stuff I make. Ooh, Mariana yeah. is asking also about um, the yes. Look at how pretty this is, faux leather. And then amazing. here's another one. Oh yeah. That's a new color. New color? New color for us, probably. Yeah, yeah this purple. And there's a there's a layer of clear on it, so you, you take that off and then it's, the color purple becomes gold. purple and gold. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I love this one, too. <laughs> That's this guys. Ah! How did we get that? Okay, anyway, it's um clear with stars and glitter and there's a there's a layer on it that's why it's not as clear as it would be but um so pretty and we got the same thing that we used on the project yeah yeah we've got a bunch of colors we just we, we tried to clear her out <laughs> we ordered a bunch of stuff the other day and then mariana is asking about laura heine classes oh, okay laura heine classes yeah. i don't think we have any on the schedule right now um but we are doing the collage open sell on the, this weekend, isn't it? This, not this weekend, maybe oh. next weekend, maybe it's the second Saturday. Sure. Or, yeah, I, I forget exactly. It's on our calendar. <laughs> um, so we are doing collage open sells, so you can come with your projects, you can come with questions, um, and just, you know, it's just for us to hang out and work on projects and show each other and ask questions. And it's, it's fun. And we'll have some set up the next well, yeah, year. and we, we will schedule some some more classes. We had some classes that were kind of at the beginning of January, even mid-January, that I think people didn't have enough time to see them and notice them and sign up. So we pulled some of those off, and we'll put them back on the schedule. It might not be until next quarter. Um, so, you know, May, or was that April, May, June? Um, but we'll get them on the schedule again. Just our beginning quilting class, same thing. We um, pulled that one down because it was, it was just too early. People didn't have enough time <laughs> to sign up and plan for it. Um, so we'll, we'll be adding those back in. I don't think we're going to be adding any classes through March. Well, there might be a couple still we might add, but otherwise um, we're, our schedule is pretty full for the first, uh, the first quarter, but we'll, we'll be adding a bunch soon for next quarter. We've got a, a lot planned for the whole year. And just remind them that Zoom is always a great option for if you can't come in, you can still. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, so Zoom is always an option this year. Even for the um, open sows. Even for the, oh yeah, the open sows. Um, the open sows we're doing on Zoom as well. Everything's on Zoom because um, that way we get to have people joining us from anywhere and you don't have to drive at night, like I said, and it's pretty cool. And you're in the comfort of your own home with all your tools around you, so you, you're not allowed to forget anything either. Um, we're still looking, still looking for a new place. We've got a promising lead on something that um, we're, we're thinking about. Um, so we may or may not pursue that one. And... Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. All right. Yeah, we're awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. It was fun again. And um, come in, ask us questions, and sign up for classes. Um, let's see. Oh, the name of the website? Where are we? Oh. Um, it's, been, so, it's been addressed. It's been addressed. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. I think we're all good. Thank you, guys. It was so good to see you. <laughs> I wish I could see everybody. That would be awesome.
But um, we'll see you at the next one and hopefully sooner in some classes and in the shop. And again, you know, you guys can always call us with any questions. We're happy to help or an just answer questions. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.